high fans of high quality entertainment. I'm going to be doing a CD unboxing and show you a couple of my other CDs that I got recently that I I didn't unbox. I just opened them up without doing a video. And I also want to talk about my CD cases and what's going to be changing about this in the near future, maybe in a week or so. Now, a recent CD that I got is this. Bonzo Dog Doo Da Band. They, were, they, they later shortened the name to Bonzo Dog Band. And this is their first five albums. It was $20 on Amazon. And I had not really heard much of their music. I know that they made an appearance in Magical Mystery Tour with De Death Cab to Cutie. I love that song and, and their performance. But I was on Spotify uh, a, few, a few weeks ago and I started playing their second album, The Donut in Granny's Greenhouse. And the first song, We Are Normal. And it just knocked me out. It's very, uh, kind of like the Mothers of Invention in the 60s. But it's a mixture of uh, the Mothers of Invention and Monty Python. And it's just crazy. And so I had to <laughs> uh, check out their albums. And of course, Neil... How do you pronounce his last name? Innes, who later on, of course, was the main contributor to her contributor to the Ruttles album. Uh, so he's on this and just great, great stuff. Totally crazy. Oh, I thought, no, I'm wrong. It's on their album Tadpole. Featuring uh, Paul McCartney playing bass on I'm the Urban Spaceman. I actually haven't played this album yet. Or this one. They're not crazy. <laughs> And as some of you know, who follow my channel, I'm a big fan of Yes and, of course, John Anderson. Uh, as I mentioned, this his second solo album, Song of Seven. I still, I think I've been playing it almost every night for the past, almost past month. It's one of my all-time favorite albums. And I just recently got this. I actually had it on vinyl back when it came out, back in the day. John and Vangelis, is that how you pronounce his name? I've never heard his name pronounced. The Friends of Mr. Carroll. And this is the, I guess, uh, the original album did not have I'll Find My Way Home on it. So they've included it because it was a, a hit single. And then they've reversed the order of the song. So side... Because this used to start with the friends of Mr. K Carol. Is that how you pronounce it? Carol? And... Uh, yeah, so it starts side two now. It's good, but... Uh, song of Seven is much better. Anyway, his first solo album... Oleus of Sun Hillow. This is the older version I have. And there's not much to it. It's pretty simple packaging. And then something happened and this <laughs> the paper got wet and ended up ripping. So that's all there is here.
but just like Song of Seven, which is newly remastered, I just got the newly remastered Oleus of Sunhill. And before I talk about my CDs here, let's open it. Yes, this is like classy, even the uh, feeling of it. It's feels so nice. <laughs> I am excited to hear this remastered. The, the, the original CD sounds, sounds pretty good, but I think it's going to sound even better. And it's two CDs, so the bonus stuff is, oh, it's surround sound, 5.1. I got to get a 5.1 surround system. So yeah, I love this album too. But between this and Song of Seven, I had heard that Song of Seven wasn't as good as this, but I tend to disagree. It's more commercial, but nothing wrong with that. It's, uh, they're both great albums. Oh, see, this is how you do it. Yeah, John Anderson is definitely, sometimes he's my favorite singer of all time, but he's right up there with Paul McCartney, John Lennon, Elvis Presley. And a few, oh, Russell Mail of Sparks and a few others. Definitely in my top, probably in my top five for sure. So this, <laughs> and this, this has been, I've, I've mentioned this before, this is just thrown together and some things, you know, it's just taped and then some of the things fall off sometimes. This has fallen more than once. And uh, like I said, it's just all thrown together. And, but I guess people seem to like, they're comfortable, you know, with, with the CDs and the background and the John Lennon box set that Sean and Yoko sent me. By the way, they uh, they just posted my videos for the unboxings on the John Lennon official site. But I don't like to brag. <laughs> so anyway, I am getting a new shelving unit, DVDs and CDs, and they're all going to be fitting on the one shelf so it's going to be taller and so I don't I'll probably have it here so you can see all of my CDs and DVDs together uh, yeah I definitely want to improve this background. Uh, 
And the, the thing, th this, this shelf here was made for me by a work friend in the early 2000s. And I believe, I don't know my woods, but I believe it's, is that walnut? Does that look like walnut or pine? I don't know. I think it's walnut. But it's, an, it's a very sturdy CD stand, except, and then this is just all a big mess too. So some of my CDs are over here because I have so many CDs now. But some of them, like the, uh, for instance, this Procol Harum, they're taller than a regular CD. And so it should be actually here near the bottom. But as you can see, it will not fit in. And with the new racking, it will. So I can actually finally have them in order. But like I said, this is a big mess. My CDs here. And then I've got lots of, lots of DVDs and Blu-rays and junk. And got more here. That's my old phone. And then just a few CDs here. I do like being organized and neat, but you know. <laughs> There's the poster for the one of the box sets, War is Over. I'm going to hang that again. Uh, yeah. So there's some of my box sets here. And then the rest of them, a lot of them, do, 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 do. there's more of them here in my bedroom closet. The Beatles and McCartney's and Lou Reed and more CDs here. And, and I'm just starting to organize them again and get it ready for my new CD, DVD, Blu-ray rack. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.